check out this artwork that I just created. It's called Cultivating Patience. It uses the word cultivating as a play on words, which is a literary device that artists use to get their audiences thinking. And I've used the word cultivating because we can grow patience just like a tree grows. The frustration that I've identified for myself is time. I often feel stressed if I'm under time pressure and things aren't going according to the time schedule that I'd organised for myself. So that's a really good uh, opportunity for me to cultivate patience. So what I'm going to do is represent a clock using my pencil really lightly. I'm doing an analogue clock today and I'm going to point that at five o'clock. I'm going to add over the top of that some radiating lines um, and I'm going to do that for two reasons. One, because the radiating lines for me represents the sun rays and of course the sun is a strong concept in the idea of time because time is the earth traveling around the sun and time is the earth spinning in relation to the sun. So I'm going to use my conceptual skills there and decide that a clock and sun rays are two things that can help me to represent my meaning of time to my audience. You might choose to do parallel lines or random zigzag lines or um, any type of line that you feel represents your frustration and your feeling around your frustration for you. Now I'm going to use the oil pastels to go over the top of these markings that I've made here in colours that represent frustration for me. My clock's going to be black and I'm going to do that really heavy because when I think of time pressure, I feel heavy. So you can see here how I'm using both my conceptual skills and my expressive skills to put my feelings about time pressure onto the cardboard. The sun's rays, yellow, two primary colors, both of them hot, warm colours and what I'm representing here is frustration. Now for some watercolour over the top. Now you can choose any colour watercolour you like, it's your patient's leaf that you're representing. Uh, this is my frustration side so I'm going to echo the colours of the sun's rays with my watercolour so I've decided I'm going to go uh, orange and yellow. What you can also see here is how an artist, i.e. you, can use multiple techniques and forms and skills in the one artwork to represent your ideas. So here I'm using a drawing technique which was my crayon. Now I'm using a painting technique, which is my watercolour. Now I'm going to wait for this to dry and I'm going to turn it over. And on the other side, I'm going to represent patience. On this side of the leaf, I'd like to use watercolours to represent the way I feel about patience. Now, I feel uh, the patience needs to be uh, cool colours, representative of nature. Uh, so I'm going to use greens and blues. And in terms of lines, I'm not going to use the really heavy lines that I used on my frustration side of my patience leaf. I'm actually going to use um, just gentle, warm, flowing lines with my um, watercolours. I'm just going to make some nice soft flowing wavy lines.
Now I'm going to switch to use some blue to represent water. Again, I'm using my expressive skills here to express how I feel about cultivating patience. You can see how my ideas about how it's going to look are actually evolving as I progress through the artistic process. I'm just following what feels right in the moment. That really makes me think of rainforests and natural waterways going through the rainforest. Now for our printing to print the leaf veins over the top. I'm going to use the edge of my seed pod to print veins for my leaf. This really represents cultivating to me. I'm going to let this dry now, and once it's dry, we'll move to step three. Okay, so now ready for part three, which is where we're going to turn our visual representations of frustration juxtaposed with patience into a leaf shape. I'm going to use my lovely indoor plant here, which is called a fiddlewood fig. It's got beautiful, big, glossy leaves with really strong veins on there that you can probably see. Um, and that really looks like my artwork. So I'm going to take my pencil and draw fiddlewood leaf, a fiddlewood big shaped leaf around the outsides. my artwork I'm going to cut it out to make your own cultivating patience artwork. Maybe a tree, which is how I've decided to represent my artwork today in sculpture form uh, in the space of my home uh, to make me remember to cultivate patience uh, in those moments where I'm feeling stressed. But you're gonna to need to think about something that frustrates you uh, and think about how you can represent that uh, on your cultivating patience artwork.